Today, the word is bereth. It is the word, say that with me, bereth. The word is the word for covenant in Hebrew. A bereth is normally an agreement. It could be translated as a treaty. We talk about the covenant of marriage. All those are the way that this word means. It doesn't mean just a simple ingredient. It means one of those life-changing agreements. The breath, the covenant that God makes with Abraham and Isaac and Jacob, makes with Noah and Moses, and also the covenant made through Jesus Christ to us. Each time God makes an agreement or a covenant, it's not a, um, it's not a change in the covenant. It's not ignoring the past covenants, but instead is a continuation or additions to that agreement. And essentially, God makes covenant with humanity to care for us, to love us, and ultimately to redeem us. Now, that word bereth, if we say, is the same word we get the word bris from, which is the circumcision made to every male in Judaism to remind them of the covenant God has made with them, that they are marked for life. And we speak of that covenant in baptism as we are marked with Christ for life. So say the word with me. Bereth. 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 